partners in RMS, I would like to thank you all here this evening. For At just to 20, life for Hope Carnivali was still full of firsts. I love everything about her. But in November last year, with her sisters Tyne and London, and their mother Danielle by her side, she died, waiting 30 minutes for an ambulance. One of nine people who lost their lives that night to thunderstorm asthma. I love you so much. Eight and a half thousand people ended up in hospital that night. 40% of them had never suffered asthma before and so had no warning of what was to come. And according to the scientists, scarily, there will be a next time. Hi, my name is Dr. Rubin. I'm a board certified allergist. Thunderstorm asthma is a phenomenon where there's an increase in the number of asthma attacks that occur around a thunderstorm, particularly when the pollen counts are high. And there are several reasons why this may be the case. One is the fact that the strong winds can potentially fragment or break apart large pollen grains such as grass pollen, which makes it easier for those form particles to get deeper into the lungs to initiate an inflammatory event leading to severe asthma attacks, which can be potentially life-threatening. The winds also pick up more particles, which will be blown around that people can inhale, leading to severe symptoms. Unfortunately, because there are more and more severe weather events occurring lately, this phenomenon is going to become more common and more people will be at risk of getting very sick. So if you do have asthma and you know there's a thunderstorm that's going to happen, it is a good idea to stay indoors to reduce the chances of your asthma symptoms from flaring up.